Anyways guys, if a low damage range bossing meal wanted to take down easy weekly boss, then Heart Hula is one of them. The only concern is how to avoid her caging skill. Other than that are not that difficult to deal with. Other Hula skills are including, at the first one, one hit KO burst when we have to find the shield protection decorated by NPC. And second, damage reflection. Stop attacking immediately while we saw our damage becomes one. And the third one, Tombstones will be summoned. We can ignore it and just focus to deal damage. It cannot kill us. The fourth one, she will summon a monster in the air that vacuum us to its side and won't let us move. Just destroy them as fast as possible. And the fifth one, when Hila falls in sleep, clear the monster that she summoned. This is not easy to differentiate by her skill animation. The warning message is our solution. The caging skill warnings has the longest message. We need not to read it. We can set any two small windows, either skill, guide, or better stats windows between the line. So long the warning message hit the windows, we must use our iframe skill immediately. We can still respond within a second when the message is shown. This is when all the good bosses meals to shine. We need to know what iframe skill that we have. Like Demon Slayer has two iframes, Ravenstone and Dark Metamorphosis. Don't worry, we only have one. Solar Eclipse, a very long cooldown skill. Final Cut and Chain of Hell for Dual Blade, etc, etc, etc. First, when we entering the boss stage, do not buff up and 100% focus on the warning message. Normally, she will use her caging skill in a short while. After we have successfully dodged her caging skill, immediately look at the remaining time. Hula caging skill has 60 seconds cooldown time. Then we can freely deal damage during these 60 seconds. And also paying attention to the NPC shield location to avoid for being one hit KO. About one minute has passed, we have to be cautious again. Be prepared to use our second iframe skill. Most likely, we can defeat Hula after two iframe skills were used. Mean around 2 to 3 minutes time if we have low damage range. With the trick that I share, all the characters with two iframes or one shot cooldown iframe will have no problem to get through the stage. The next is the trick for the character who has only one long cooldown iframe. For the showcase is Dawn Warrior. First, after we go into both stage, we can choose to do nothing and wait the appearance of her caging skill. When we sit inside the cage, put attention on the time again. For this instance, the time we get caught is at 2925. So after we became ghost, do not revive immediately. We do have sufficient time to wait her to use the caging skill again. After cage skill is used second time, immediately revive and buff out. Then we have 50 seconds to take her down and using the first mansion trick to dodge it. After I enlarge my sample size about 20 times, Hula will not surely use the caging skill after 60 seconds. If the skill has not been used, then we have to do it all over again. Mean being caged, then wait, then catch skill is used second time while in ghost mood, then we just can deal damage in full cost at max revive. If we still cannot take her down with this method, then we can die purposely before she uses the cage skill again. Then rest in waiting area until our iframe skill is refreshed. Then just go in to deal the final blow. Hope the guide helped us to get through our new journey in Paper Story. If you enjoyed the content, hit the like button and subscribe my channel. Thank you guys, I will be back.